Hello guys, I'm very excited to share with you this new tool called as Wave Wizard. Wave Wizard enables you to analyze your own audio files locally to determine their actual sample rate and bit depth. Or in simple words, what it does is it allows you to determine if your audio file is of high quality, good quality or just an average file. It is primarily an interactive Gradio app that lets you analyze audio files on the fly from your local system. It helps you verify if your high resolution audio files are genuine or unsampled from lower quality sources. It detects true sample rate by analyzing significant frequency content. It also estimates effective bit depth based on dynamic range and it visualizes the frequency spectrum, spectrogram and amplitude histogram. It also supports multiple files and folders for batch processing. Before we move forward with the installation and see how it works, it is quite important to understand all of these terms in simple words. So I will be doing this first, then we will install it locally and then we will test it out on one of the audio files. Before I do that, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. And this is my terminal Ubuntu 22.04. And this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. Now, let me first create a Coda environment, which is a virtual environment in order to get it installed. And while it happens, let me give you a bit more information around this Wave Wizard and its terminologies. So when you're dealing with audio files, normally you have to deal with a lot of stuff like sample rate, bit depth and a lot of other things. So this wave wizard lets you measure the sample rate. Sample rate measures how often an audio signal is captured and converted into digital data per second. Think of it like taking snapshot of a waveform and a higher sample rate means more snapshots resulting in more accurate representation of the sound. Sample rates are measured in Hertz or HZ or kilohertz. For example, a 44.1 kilohertz sample rate captures 41, uh, 44,100 snapshots per second. So if a um, sample rate is around 8 kilohertz to 22 kilohertz that's a low quality like your phone calls and that sort of stuff music cds are normally 44.1 kilohertz any sample rate between 48 to 96 kilohertz is considered high quality anything above 96 to 192 kilohertz is considered very very high quality so in simple words, a good sample rate for most music listening is 44.1 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz and higher rates like 96 or 192 kilohertz are for professional audio work or critical listening. So that is what it is all about. Okay, so let's go back here. Our Kona environment is created. Let's install a couple of uh, prerequisites like Torch, Torch Audio and Torch Vision. Let's wait for it to get installed. So the prerequisites are done. Let me clear the screen. Next up, let's git clone the repo of this wave wizard and I will drop the link to it in video's description. That is also done. And now we need to install all the requirements from the root of this repo with the pip command. So let's wait for it to finish installing. Shouldn't take too long now. And the installation is done. Let me clear the screen. In order to run this application, just run this, sorry, not this one. We just need to launch our Gradio um, application with the Wave Wizard app. And the command for that is this, that Wave Wizard underscore app dot by. So let me run it. And that is going to start the Gradio demo at your local host at port 7860. So let me open that. 
and there is uh, our web wizard running on our local system you can either drag drop files or you can select it from your local host so let me select it select a sample audio file a small one from my local host by clicking here and then i'm just going to go with my files and then let me select one of these so i have just gone with this wav file which is around 54.9 meg so let me click on analyze it is processing it you can even give it a folder path containing multiple audio files let's wait for it to get finished and there you go it has finished analysis i think it took around more than two minutes but you see there are some attributes of this file that which is a wave file format and then there is some visual representation in waveform spectral features frequency spectrum and then there should be a spectrogram there should be a sample amplitude now let me try to explain few of these as, as this allows you to determine if the audio is genuine or not for instance we have this file bit depth this is the number of bits used to represent each audio sample in this case it is 16 bit pcm and then we have sample rate we already know what sample rate is it is a number of audio samples per second and in this one it is 16000 hertz so it is quite good so up 16k hertz i mean and then so you can imagine that uh, if you remember i told you that 44 kilohertz was used for the um, music cds which is okay quality so when you convert the 16000 hertz into kilohertz so 16 kilohertz is also called as narrow band or uh, wide band audio quality in this one it is suitable or really good for voice calls like in phone or podcasts but for music listening it is not a good quality so it depends upon your use case if you are using this wave file for your music then it is not a good choice anyway and then you can see that it has also given a set length of the audio files in or the duration and then it is using this n underscore fft which is a fast fourier transform size it is the number of samples used for frequency analysis and then we have significant frequency which means frequency range with most prominent audio content real um, there is also this real sample rate which is primarily an estimated actual sample rate potentially differing from the files stated sample rate i guess then they have dynamic range dynamic range uh, it is a difference between loudest and quietest part of the audio and in this case it is a 178 decibels i guess effective bit depth is an estimated number of bits actually used by the audio content considering the noise floor which is a 30 bit pcm and then they have this <clears throat> sorry they have this waveform which is uh, a visualization as i mentioned earlier and waveform is uh, just a representation of audio amplitude over the time and then if you come uh, down there is a spectral feature there are some spectrograms and a lot of other things which are just giving you different things from different angles when it comes to this audio analysis for example if you look at the spectral feature this is primarily a characteristic of audio frequency content whereas a waveform was just the audio amplitude and if you come down there will be a spectrogram a visualization frequency spectrum the spectrogram visual visualization is time varying frequency spectrum representation and then amplitude histogram is the audio signal amplitude and this is what i was talking about so this is a, a amplitude histogram which is just giving you the audio signals amplitude and then you can just go through it and then check out the quality and more importantly genuineness of the audio now how exactly do you determine that if an audio is genuine or not on the basis of these so there are few key indicators like um, if there is a sample rate mismatch if the stated sample rate doesn't match the actual sample rate estimated by analysis then you should be doubtful also look at bit depth anomalies that if there is an unusual bit depth or effective bit depth significantly lower than stated then there is a problem also check frequency spectrum visualization and see if there is an unnatural frequency pattern such as 
unusual spikes or dips, overly uniform or repetitive patterns, inconsistent frequency distribution, then there could be a problem. Another um, thing to look at is this dynamic range. If there is over compression or unnatural dynamic range, there's a problem. Look at the spectrogram, which I showed you earlier. Uh, let me quickly go down. So if in spectrogram, there is um, time, uh, which is a time varying frequency, if it shows you unusual patterns or artifacts, if there is inconsistent, inconsistent audio characteristic, there could be a problem. So and the problem, when I say problem, problem means that maybe there is an editing, tempering, low quality, lossy compression, maybe it's an AI generated audio or synthesized audio, and there could be other few things. So you can do the forensic. And if you're into this field, you know what I mean. But all in all, you can see that how simple AI, which is running in the packet has made it. You don't have to worry about what model is being used, uh, what exactly is happening. All you need to do is to install it, run the Gradio demo, analyze your audio file, and then you can go from there with your forensics. So I hope that this was helpful. It if it was, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, Please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.